Hello everyone, and as always, welcome back to Strategy Gaming Dojo, where we find, learn, and play one more turn of the great strategy games, and I sit astride the Pacific, over the Philippines, like a young Douglas MacArthur. I'm not going to wear these, who are we kidding? Uh, anyway, I'm back from the Caribbean, I had to have my shades on. And uh, back with you, finally, for a war in the Pacific. My goodness, it seems like a long time. I've said this before, but this is like putting on the uh, smoker's jacket, your slippers, settling into your favorite chair as we get ready for another episode of Gary Grigsby's War in the Pacific, Admiral's Edition. Um, the greatest game ever made. Now, I just put out a War Plan Pacific Let's Play tutorial uh part one part one and i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you i like the game so far i really do I, it's a lot of fun now i haven't played that far into i you know i played like two turns just to see how certain things work and then i thought well you know let's all learn it together um for some reason actually you guys like to see me struggle more than do well so i thought well if i'm just fumbling around here i'll probably get the best viewership ever uh so yeah no it's up there and you know i've read through the rule book once it is seeming to fill that spot right in between you know kind of panzer general arcadey style games and on the other end this game you know, it's, it's somewhere in the middle. It's somewhere there in the middle. It's got, uh, it reminds me of World in Flames. I, I have said that several times in the videos for that game, but it really does. And I loved that board game. I always did. Uh, the port, though, doesn't have an AI. And so, you know, unless you've got somebody that wants to sink, uh, you know, half of their younger years into learning the game, you know, it's hard to find people to play. I, you can play online, but you know, it's a little difficult. I, I don't really like playing on Vassal. That's just me. If you're a big Vassal player, don't, you know, scream at me. I, if you like it, that's cool. It's just not, it's not my thing. Um, but that game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, I'm sure it's going to take tweaks there, here, or there, you know, different patches, things. I'm sure it'll develop some, but so far, I mean, I've had no complaints. You know, I, there are little things that maybe, you know, I'm, I'm making notes, <laughs> make notes. No, uh, honestly, the developer, uh, one guy, it's amazing to develop something like that uh, all by yourself. And so uh, very impressed so far. We'll see. You know, with a game like a, a Pacific War game, it's all down in the details. You know, it'll matter what happens on turn 42, not really what happens on turn 2. So, we'll see. We'll see. Now, where are we in the greatest war game ever made? Um, we have s <laughs> spotted quite a few Japanese vessels, as you see here. They're steaming through the straits here by Puerta Princesa into the Sulu, not Admiral Su Sulu, just the Sulu Sea, heading for parts unknown. Parts unknown. I, I don't know. I really don't know where this is going to go. Um, if I were the Japanese player right now, I'd just keep going to Surubaya, but I doubt, very much doubt the AI is going to do that. Uh, they've got plenty happening at the Philippines, unless they really think that to take this southern island, they're going to need, you know, to take Mindanao, they're going to need this kind of force, maybe. They may turn up to Tarakan, where they shall meet the guns of Tarakan. Uh, the, this big coastal defense, you don't just walk on this island uh, through that port, my friend. Uh, they could be going to Bali Papan. They may come to Java, you know, talking war. I, I, I'm not going to spend, you know, this whole stream talking about war plan in the Pacific, just like I try not to spend the whole war plan in the Pacific talking about this game. But that being said, uh, in that game, the AI in the first turn, so this is just through December 21st, has already taken Surubaya, is taken Oosthaven, is completely cut me off in Malaya, and is advanced halfway across China. <laughs> so... We're doing a little better in this one. Um, you know, I upped the difficulty level. Uh, that is probably true, P. Warner. They will turn up where I want them least. 
At least I hope they do. It makes for a more interesting game. Uh, where I want them least is probably Java, I would have to say. Um, but yeah, that AI in Warplant Pacific, I, I was watching that first turn and I thought, well, you know, we'll have some time to react to this. And I thought it was kind of odd in the opening setup. You don't really have any troops at Surubaya. And I thought, well, I should probably get something there, you know, so that by turn six, if the Japanese try to get there or whatever, they're, they've already taken it. <laughs> so we're on the back foot, as they say. Um, yeah, that's right, Peter. Uh, this, if you have OCD, and I certainly do, this game will scratch that itch. Uh, certainly, certainly. Now, we are on turn 18. It's Christmas Day, 1941. Um, I have no idea what, you know, what happened actually on Christmas Day, 1941. I kind of wish I did. I should probably go to that website that's like day by day of the war. You know, have you ever seen one of those? It kind of tells you what happened in the in the Pacific and what happened on the Western uh, or Western Europe and Eastern Europe uh, in the European fronts of the war. Uh, I should probably go to that. And, and check out what happens each day. I don't really know what happened on Christmas Day, uh, but I can tell you what's happening in our game, and that is the Japanese are quickly moving south here on the peninsula of Malaya here, uh, or the Malayan Peninsula, if you prefer. M Sumatra. We've been getting bombed over here in Sumatra. It makes me think they're going to jump the Strait of Malacca here in the not-too-distant future. We actually have a very nice force in Singapore, and we have more dropping back to it. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Now, they will eventually give out, but it's all about a, you know how much can you slow the Japanese down. They have not really done anything down here by Palembang or Oosthaven. No bombing, nothing like that. Uh, but I think that's... Uh, let's go back and look at Singapore. Now, I think we looked at that last episode, but it's been a little while. And I just want to check it out. I want to make sure we've got everything because they're, you know, they're inching closer, of course. Now, replacements... Do I dare turn some of these English units on? Eh, probably not yet. But I think I will turn like some of the AA on for replacement. Oh, that's British. Um, and we'll turn some of the artillery, especially the Indian artillery. Uh, we've got that Australian brigade. Sure, let's turn that on. Uh, well, actually, well, let's back up. Let's back up. Let's turn the Australians off. I could make a joke there, but I won't. Um, all right. There we go. Let's make just make sure these units have replacements on. Again, I don't really want to do English units or Australian units yet. Uh, but these are Malayan. Or, okay, let's, um, let's go ahead and turn those two. Okay, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens when they get down here. There's not really a whole lot we can do about it. We're not going to bring any troops up here. So it's we're, we're playing with the cards we were dealt. Um, oh, that's great. Hobgoblio. I don't know if you, that's, you know, kind of the, uh, the different syllables, how you put them together. It could be Hobgoblio. Could be. Uh, Good day to you, sir. Good day. And I am I appreciate the kind words. And if anybody I can get into these games uh, is a good day for me. I, I That's why I make these. I just want people to play them. Believe me, I'm not making any money off this. It's it's all for my good times. Uh, or not, let's say not much, just for, you know, disclosure purposes. Uh, the IRS, you know, maybe watching. Um uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let, believe me, we're way under the thresholds where they would care. Uh, but I love these games. I absolutely love these games. And so anyone I can bring to these games, that was the whole purpose of starting this thing is I play them anyway. Uh, if somebody out there watches these and starts playing them, picks them up, or an old you know, old player comes back to him or something. That makes my day. Uh, back to Singapore. Whoa, I got way off the field there. Um, let's look at our air units. Make sure that this all looks good. Morale, fatigue. Okay, the fatigue's not terrible here. Uh, these Vildebeests have gotten ripped up a little bit, but that's all right. We've got a, several naval missions. 
I, you know, I don't know. It doesn't look like the Japanese are going to be sailing anything straight over here to Mersing, which is always a concern early on. You know, do these naval missions really make a lot of sense at this point? I may give them one more turn. I don't think our runway is in that bad a shape. Uh, then, you know, of course, the fighters, we're going to leave here, run and cap. Uh, luck luckily, we've been running a 60% cap, uh, but their fatigue, I mean, nobody's over 15, which is when you start thinking about it, really. You can see we, you know, our experience levels aren't that great, but these guys have done okay. They've hung in there. You know, I don't, I don't think Singapore's really gotten chewed up yet. We can go here and look. No, not at all. Uh, no airfield damage, no airfield runway damage, which is kind of surprising, actually. Although they have been hitting our transports coming in here, you know, with, with those big fat targets. Maybe they're like, you know, why bomb, bomb the runway? This idiot's trying to run transports up here. Maybe that's what's going on. Uh, we've got no ships in port, but we do have a task force here, the Ippo. Um, Right. Okay. Well, let's dock it. Uh, it's this is like taking nothing out of here, but let's load some fuel on it. And when that's done, shoot, I don't know where do we even want it to go. We'll have it go to Surubaya, and we'll just have it stay there. It needs to get out of Singapore if we're going to save these poor sailors' lives, uh, right? And I think that's Singapore. I mean, there's no ships in port. The aircraft we looked at. We'll try to get these torpedo bombers out of here next turn, I guess. What's their range? Their, their maximum's 19, so they should easily get down to Java. Um, and we've got plenty of cap to hopefully... Oh gosh, you know I want to move them now. Um, let's see, let's see. Who's got the most support? I mean, they're just not doing us any good here. So instead of being lazy, I might as well just move them out of here. Because they really, I mean, there's just no reason for them to be here. Uh, we're not taking them to Jesselton, I'll tell you that much. Um, I just like to say joke Jakarta, so humor me. Uh, can I can I get them to Java? I thought I could at least get them to maybe Palembang. Oh, they can go into Oosthaven. Now, Oosthaven's going to be a little over the top, but we'll get them out of here next turn. Uh, oh, Palembang's open too. Okay, let's fly them down to Palembang. And we'll try to get all these torpedo bombers out. I just don't... I mean, they're, they're just not going to do anything. Now, this is a 12. We can't get this... Oh, that can get to Palembang, though. Okay, cool. Uh, fighter, fighter, torpedo bomber. Uh, if we can get one of these to Oosthaven, and we can. Let's take... Yep. Oh, gosh, I thought I hit on Lang Saw. And I was like, uh, please don't fly that thing up to China. Um... And then, hmm, it's, oh, there's Palembang. Okay. I was about to say it's weird. They're not showing us Palembang. Are we that overstacked? Well, kind of. Uh, let's go to Oosthaven with that last one. And now, oh, I said last one. I was wrong. Uh, the, oh, this is one left behind. So we did have one that was damaged. It will catch up automatically. And then another one that was damaged. So I was right. Okay, so that was the last one. That's all good. We've already checked these units. I know that for a fact. Let's go down to Palembang. I'm still mad about this. That transport makes it hot tailing it out of Singapore. I mean, you could see the skid marks uh, on the ocean as it came out of Singapore. Gets down here. It's almost to freedom. The guys are up on deck. Who knows? You know, talking about getting back and seeing their girlfriends. And all of a sudden, a Japanese sub pops up, hits the 224 RAF. That's what makes the game fun. That's what I tell myself, you know, as I... Try to keep it PG here. Uh, okay, we got the two TBs there. That's all good. And Palembang, we have this PC. The Tideman is sitting here. It doesn't really do a whole lot. It's just a patrol craft. But okay, so we got a patrol craft in Palembang. Um, okay, we already set this up. Yes, yes. I'm way ahead of the game. That means I must have been ready to go to either. Hold on. Let's make sure we got no ships in port there. I guess I could have looked for the anchor, right? Uh, Oosthaven. Now you see all of our torpedo bombers we moved down here and the level bombers, the Aussie level bombers that will try to get down to Darwin. 
Uh, no ships in port here. We've still only got the base force in New Haven. I'm thinking maybe we need to beef that up a little bit, gents. Um... <laughs> yeah, it's it's that far east, indeed, indeed. Uh, turning the British on and the Aussies off. Yeah, there's a lot of jokes on there. When uh, you know, I right as I said that, I was like, yeah, let's let's back off from that one. Uh, you know, I like to have YouTube keep putting the videos up. Um, anyway, the Beatrice sits here at Oosthaven. I've got it listed as Fuel Boot <laughs> Bootavia. Uh, that's what happens when you say Oosthaven. Uh, Fuel Batavia. Batavia is here. All right, let's dock it. Um, let's load up. How's our fuel here? It's only 3720. That's why I've got it sitting here is because Oosthaven is not building like I'd like to see it build. Um, but I really don't know what to do. I, you know, supplies required 20. That should pull more supplies here, but the risk you run when that you do that is if the Japanese come down here and just sit around Palembang, you may actually need some supply. Now, uh, it's at 33. Because when you think about what you're trying to do in Sumatra is get the get the fuel out. You know, uh, the oil, the Japanese, a lot of it will have to send back to the home islands. And so, you know, to the extent there's oil sitting here, it's one thing fuel they can use immediately and we've got 134,000 tons of fuel sitting here we need to get that out uh supply you know if they if if the japanese come across this and have 30,000 tons of supply it's not ideal but it doesn't matter nearly as much as the fuel uh so let's try to pull supply down to oosthaven i guess um I really wish Oosthaven would start pulling some fuel down, though. But it's just not at this time. Well, there's nothing to do with this. And we need to beef this up a little bit. One little base force here, that's not cutting it. At Palembang, we have even a, a sorrier situation, really. We've got this one infantry group. Now, I'm, not tr I'm trying not to play Fortress Palembang, as it's called. Uh, that being said, oh, you know what? That reminds me. Are these guys repaired yet? Not yet. Gosh darn it. Now this is the group I want to move over here to the mispronounced. I, I, I'm forewarning you that Sibiret is mispronounced. Um, I want to move them over here and then go pick up down here. Uh, but they, they're damaged and they've been damaged for turns. They're not getting better. Um, okay, we probably need some more forces up here. Instead, I took them all to Batavia. I don't think that that's really fair. Uh, now, I've got these British uh, units that have now arrived. They're 3rd Indian Corps. Now, when you think of 3rd Indian well, I guess if you're deep in the weeds of this game, I should say, you probably don't walk around normally and think this about 3rd Indian Corps or about 3rd Indian Corps at all. But if you really like this game, when you think of 3rd Indian Corps, you really think of Singapore. Um these units were destined for Singapore, uh, but we stopped up short and we've put them in here at Batavia. Now let's go look at the ground units here. We've got an assault strength of 437. We've got most of these. Now this base force I've got listed as Kuching. Um... Do we want them at Kuching? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm going to take that off. Okay. So this unit, this base force, oh, it's the Punjab. Oh, okay. Let's uh, just make that at home at Batavia. We've got a lot of engineers here now. Um, so these guys, we're up to like 430 in assault value, which is pretty strong for Batavia, to be honest. Uh, we've got them at combat, and they're all at target. Oh, we have this. Uh, didn't I just change that? Am I crazy? I thought I just changed that. Uh, this is another base force. Okay, well, let's also do that one. All right, so now we should have that set up okay. Everything's at target. Everything's combat. We really don't have any replacements coming into these yet. Uh, to the extent they get under fire, we will. But one thing I was thinking about doing is we do have some 
transports, a lot of Dutch transport transports a matter of fact at Surubaya and let's go look at the ground situation at Surubaya um, you see 14 ships in port a lot of those are APs I think I'm going to go up to Batavia I'm going to go Surubaya and Batavia and I'm going to peel off some Dutch units I'm going to put them in Oosthaven I mean, this sub is causing us problems, though. I, the last thing I want is this sub to take out another transport. But I really want some troops into Oosthaven, and we'll also rail them up then to Palembang. And I'm not talking about a lot. It's not like Fortress Palembang. It's not like we're going to have a 2,000 assault value here in Palembang. I'm talking like one infantry battalion each, something like that. Um Let's go look at all of these units at Surubaya. Okay, they're all at target. They're all on combat. Excellent. Okay, let's look at some of the infantry units. Now, the fourth nil will leave here. When I say nil, I if you're very into the Dutch military, I know that's not correct. That's just what I call them. I've been calling them that for 15 years, so humor me. Uh, by saying nil. I know it's something night. I, I, I'm not even going to say it. It's something Dutch. I call them nils. And I don't mean they're zeros. Um, we could do this artillery commando group. Wow. Commandant. Oh, no, I can't. It's static. Too bad. What a name. The artillery commando coast guard. Okay. Sounds fearsome out there. Uh oh disaster i see what you're saying so the stream category is set to war in the east too i have the opposite happen too uh sometimes uh that's on twitch right freaking twitch uh it doesn't matter you know i go through uh stream labs obs that's what i do it so you can do it to multiple places and it doesn't matter how much i change that dang thing it will do the opposite of what i put every every time but uh, Anyway, you know, I was just trying to fool you into coming by. I was like, you know, Disaster 90, He, I see him on the war in the East. He won't come by for a war in the Pacific. Let's see if we can entice him a bit. So here you are. It worked, my dastardly plan. How about these Landstorm? Why don't we do these two? Do we want to do those? No, we've only got a 296 here. Let's go back to uh, Batavia and see what kind of... Um, you know, if we've got something that makes sense to send to either one of these places. Uh, here's all of our infantry. We could send the Punjab guys up there. They're already bought out. They don't. We don't have to buy them out again. There are 26. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, these are restricted for now. You know, we get. How about this third cavalry regiment? and the 215th Punjab. Okay, let's put uh, that on Strat, and let's put, what did I say, the Cavalry Regiment? Okay, these are both 3rd Indian Corps, right? No, 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 Punjab is Far East. Well, okay, uh, we're going to put somebody from 3rd Indian Corps up there as well. So now they're both in Strat. It'll take them one day to pack. Okay, uh, let's go look for these units down here, and let's set there now what's got the better terrain well palembang's in the middle of a swamp so i'm going to put the cavalry unit here at oosthaven and who's the other group that i put in strat let's go find them uh yeah 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 oh wait a minute was that nope okay i just want to make sure i don't want to move any of the british units i don't think that's fair or historical uh but dutch units i mean i don't feel too bad about moving a dutch unit up there who's statement okay and then the Poon, punjab group though oh it is british well i can't do that i'm not going to do that um what's the assault value here 73 nope not going to move anything that big okay well we'll start with the cavalry uh, the cavalry has arrived. We're going to start with these guys. We can't break this unit down. All right. Well, we're going to load them on something. Uh, but I don't think we have any APs here. We do not. All right. So we're going to have to send some APs up from Surubaya. Uh, we've got none assembled right now. 
and now we go back to see what the load cost is. The load cost is a lot. 1032 troop, 3633 cargo. All right, so we got at least 4600, 36 car. Well, I, I always try to remember the troop, which was like 1030. Um, right, so let's go down here. Let's see what we got. We've got the Von Ostraten. That could not quite handle it. It's close, but not quite. We have the Kota Penang. Um, that could. All right, that actually looks, gosh, 15 points. And I'm sailing it in where I know that there is submarine activity. Should he do it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, transport. And then we'll get the, what is it, Kota Penang. 16 troop, 20, yeah, both of those are exactly the same. Okay, done. And we're going to send them up to Batavia and have them remain on station up there because I do want them to come back down here uh, just a little far away from the heat of the action. So let's remain on station up there. All right, so they'll get up there and pick up that unit. Now, do we have anything that gives us a little anti-sub to go along with it? Well, let's find out. Um, oh, yeah, that's not going to really show us. Do we have anything in here that's got any anti-sub capability? Well, do these gunboat patrol tenders do? No, they sure don't. All right. Um, wow, these are all, you know, not great. So let's pick one of these units then. The Protopatria, that does not have it. We've got a transport. That's our transport group. This is a CM. This should have, nope, shouldn't speak so soon. Um, okay. The Orange does not. What do we have here? The Tromp, shit. I was hoping that was a destroyer uh, as a surface ship, but it's not. CM again. CM would, gosh, do I really have no anti-submarine capability just sitting here at the port? Probably my local minesweeper has some. Nope. And last one, last but not least, support ship, the Albatross, does not have any. Okay. Well, this all just got very exciting. Why don't we take one of the destroyers that what is this that's a local minesweeper that has none i didn't know i'd be hunting for like one destroyer to send out here there we go okay so let's take one of these how about the express these actually have really good asw if i remember correctly uh, i think these are some of those british units that have an eight all right so we're going to take this the express we're going to have it merge or meet this task force. So we'll go down here to Surubaya, and it's our only transport. So we will have it meet. Is that true? Just want to make sure I get it to the right one. Yep. We'll have it meet that unit, and we'll have them merge. Exit. Okay, okay, so he's going to go up there, they're going to remain on station, they'll take those units over. Other than that, I'm not sure there's a whole lot to do at these places. Uh, we do still have 13 ships at port here at Surubaya, but ultimately there are a lot of APs. They're all those Dutch APs. I mean, the Dutch don't really have a lot of troops to move around. We could pull troops off the of Celebus, out of Bally Poppin, you know, out of Tarakin, things like that. But we're, we've got them there for a reason. Um, yeah, I knew I got you a disaster. I knew that that was the whole point. Uh, P Warner, I got your ASW in there. I knew when I knew when I came to the chat, you were going to say no ASW with that, huh? I'm watching you, buddy. Uh, no, we got some in there now. They're going to merge up though. Uh, we've got the Far East command is here, right? We've got a bunch of Dutch units here. You know, I just don't think there's a whole lot to do with any of these. We've got our one uh, unit up there that's going to Oosthaven. We may eventually move another one, he says, as he goes back to look at the ground units one more time. A lot of these are restricted, but, 
Yeah, I mean, they're totally restricted. So, not a whole lot we could do there. The command is not restricted, but everything else, we've pretty much got it where it needs to be. So, we're just going to leave it. We're going to leave it there. All of these other, you know, everything else here I think is fine. They're running cap. We had this, that we've had that set up forever. We could go look at some of these smaller bases like Bima. We've now put units in here, or a unit, a base force. Let's put it that way. Uh, they don't have any fuel. They do have some supply, which runs the aircraft, but it's not going to be very good for these units. We do have a local minesweeper and a support. This is for the tender that would be, you know, this is a tender for the aircraft that would be here. We probably need to get a little bit of um, supply or fuel down here just because we have a local minesweeper and some other things that could use it but i don't think i have any cargo ships at surubaya right now a lot of them are headed down to perth let's go around the back here and look at tajila jap make sure we have all of these units set up asw search search okay so uh, that's fine because we do have fighter cover in Batavia that would come, hopefully, run some cap over here. We may want to get some fighters back here at some point. Um, these are all just like holding units, so that's all fine. Uh, we do have something now in port, an AK. It's a cargo Perth. Does that make sense? Uh, do, 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 do. Not really. We. Uh, this is not really big enough. Let's dock... Now, see, the problem is Tajila Jap just doesn't have a whole lot going on. Um, why don't we actually take that into Surubaya? All right. And when we get there, I may break one of those off and take it down to Bima uh, just to get a little fuel down there. I would like to have a decent force at Bima. I say decent, something at Bima, uh, and it, there's fuel. There's a fuel need because we definitely have a couple of ships down here. So, okay, Denpasar. What is happening in Denpasar? Well, not a whole lot. The local minesweeper is just sitting there. There's no fuel down here. Um, it's got a little bit of supply. Okay, what about some of these others? These are those, this is the ill-fated plane that was supposed to go pick up troops and it just, none of it ever worked. Um, but I think we finally got those troops moving, didn't we? It's this unit we need to move. But then I have those transport planes. Oh, that's right. I've got those transport planes. So he's set for Surubaya. Let's go look at those transport planes. There they are. Okay. Finally, we can go pick up troops. Now, they're picking up from Pamukkasen already. Oh, I already did that. Okay. Well, I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant. <laughs> I guess I already did that one. Uh, Bali Poppin, everything's good here. There's nothing in port. That's what you want to see. Uh, Tarakin. What's happening out here at Tarkin? We've got fighters up still. That's kind of bold, especially with this big Japanese fleet moving through. What are these? It's four B-339s. Ah, we'll keep them up for now. It's probably a bad decision, but that's all right. I, I've made them before. Uh, let's go make sure everybody at Manila is good. The airfield's almost out. We did get almost all of the aircraft out of here, though. Everybody's combat at target. That's what we want to see. Now, I've got this unit way back here, the 3rd, 12th Filipino. This thing has just got not, almost nothing uh, or no chance. Let's put it that way. Um, it's completely surrounded out here. Not the position you want to be in. Not at this point in the war. That is for sure. Any part of any war. Uh, let's go look here. Everybody's at combat. I've got this one on uh, Cabana Tuan. Oh, I think I said that right. Uh, let's, you know, what's the point really? But let's go ahead and put that on the right target back here on Clark Field. And, okay, I think that's all that. And then out here, actually, at Lingayan. Oh, we still have a decent amount here at Lingayan. Uh, these are all set at Clark Field, except for the final one. 
<clears throat> because they're all going to fall back. But hey, this is 362 in combat strength. It's you know it's not nothing. But the Japanese are bringing so much here; it won't really matter. All of these should be fine and ready to go. Um, I don't think there's anything else we have to do. I think that it's time to resolve the turn. Um, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens this turn. Always, always fun. Let's let's save it. And let's get down to let's play 1226. All right. Okay, there we go. Saving it. Should be 1226. I'm going to get confused. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and see what happens in the orders phase as we move on to December 26th, 1941. Cooking now. Now, now that I'm back from vacation, we're just going to be moving like crazy. Are we resolving turns here? There, there we go. Whoa. This thing's going nuts. Oh, whoa. The Japanese have taken Jalo. Remember when we were so strong on Jalo, like we were going to hold it for any period of time? Um, that was one thing that I never liked, honestly, from the spreadsheet. That doesn't mean it's wrong. When I say I don't like it, I'm sure Cole has you know, put that thing in, mashed it around, pulled it, stretched it, done whatever, and tested it. But I, I just, I don't like having, I don't even like those floating air bases, to be honest. I think they're too complicated for what you get out of them. That was a, re a refuel station for stuff coming out of Hong Kong, but luckily we didn't need it because we got everything out of Hong Kong really uh, pretty cleanly for the most part. Yeah, they're really mad. I wonder if that is their main task force. I was thinking it was not, but... It's possible. It could be. It certainly could be. Boxing Day! That's right. What a great holiday. I mean, I'm an English football fan, and so, you know, of course, all teams play on Boxing Day. Or at least they used to. I'm not sure if it's every... I think everybody plays on Boxing Day. Now, I had heard that that is called Boxing Day because it's when you box up all your presents or box up things. I, I don't even know if that's true. One of you Brits tell me why exactly it's called Boxing Day. But I thought it was, you know, if you, you know, you had to box things up or whatnot and put things away. That was my understanding. Could be totally wrong. My mother's maiden name was Brandon. I ought to know something about the British, you would think. All right, units merging. We haven't seen any bombing yet as we move into the evening. Christmas evening. Santa has returned home. Moonlight is at 42%. Got a half moon out there. Oh, shoot. Submarine attack. All right. Near Naughty. Gosh darn it. I hate when they start getting active out here. The AKL Argus torpedo hits two on fire. Heavy damage. That's probably going down. So this is out by Suva. Uh, yeah, it just sunk. So we've had a cargo ship down near Suva. Our task forces just merged. That one we just set up, I just saw it merge. Uh, oh, hey, hey, here we go. The swordfish is out there. It's attacking two oilers. Oh, please take down an oiler, a Japanese oiler. But they have destroyer smart by the AI. They have a destroyer and escort. We didn't do anything. Nothing happened. But that could get us on something. Yeah, ha, ha, here we go. Um... So near Gove, 
We've got the DD Isis out here doing anti-sub. It's found a Japanese sub. Now, this is right out by Port Moresby down here. Uh, nothing happened. All right. The Cuttlefish. God, I love that. If I was a submariner, I would have wanted to serve on the Cuttlefish. Uh, it launched two torpedoes at a Japanese cargo ship to no avail. Wow. So, you know, we, we had an AKL that sunk. So it's probably a one or two point ship. And that's, oh, here comes the bombing into Singapore. And, of course, we don't fly at night, so this is just unmolested. Uh, Sally's times eight. Two were damaged. They got three runway hits. That's what we don't want to see are those nighttime runway hits. Um, oh, the Cuttlefish. There you go, buddy. That's my favorite ship in the game. Uh, <laughs> naughty. What a name. Um Yes, the Cuttlefish, SS Cuttlefish, hits the AK, so a cargo ship. Uh, Kenyu Maru, shell hits four, torpedo hits two. Heavy damage, that's almost certainly going down. Uh, we may not see it go down or report it down uh, just because it's a submarine. They're going to be getting out of there if they can, uh, but that's excellent. I say it's excellent. I really wanted it to hit those um, oilers. You know, the Japanese do not have many oilers, and if you can knock one out, that's always a bonus. Not really for victory points, but a bonus for our prestige, which isn't a factor in this game, but that's okay. It's a personal factor for me. Uh, okay, they're unloading on Babel Dawab again. I just have to believe they're coming after Rabal sooner rather than later. Uh, we've got some naval movement. We're reacting to Jap Japanese sub-activity near Hawaii. Oh, wow. Here we go. Okay. This is, a, this is being called an ASW attack. It's on our submarine, the Sea Lion, just north of Luzon. Uh, we launched four torpedoes. This is a big task force, right? It's got some mine sweeping, but the, they're really using that for ASW. Uh, and then we've got these cargo and, and one transport. So this is probably more invasion force, right? We got off four torpedoes. Nothing good happened. Ah, crud. Oh, shoot. All right. Well, we had a submarine attack near Milne Bay. Japanese sub got hit once. This was the AP Mungana, which was coming out here unescorted with troops aboard to Milne Bay. Got hit by nine shells, two torpedoes on fire, heavy damage, probably going down. And yeah, it sunk. The captain just died, so I, I assume it did sink. Wow, I don't know what's going on with the text down here. Do you see that? It's weird. It's all jumbled. Eh, it's an old game. Um, wow, that hurts. Right after I was making fun of you, P. Warner, for giving me crap about not sending unescorted transport ships, we got one down in the water near Milne Bay. Hopefully we can fish some of those boys out. Gosh darn it. Um, I'm trying to think what unit that was. Well, we sighted a periscope uh, right off of Hawaii. Oh, okay, three Japanese ships right on North Borneo. Um, we've got a Japanese sub that was right there by Java. And now they start to hit. Now, I was told this is Batangus. I hope that's right. Uh, zeros, eight. Betty's, 20. Bombing Batangus. We did damage a bet. Holy smokes. They ripped us up out here. That's because these, I think these were all on the ground. Two damage, one destroyed on the ground, six damage, two damaged. Uh, it was those you, it was those uh, planes that were still at Batangis that we couldn't get out. They were already damaged. Uh, I wish that wasn't going on, but it, it did. It did. Oh, okay. Now, now the script is just all jumbled down here. Uh, morning air attack near Bataan. Raid detected. Here it comes in. We've got nine nates, seven lilies. Trying for the minesweeper Bittern. 
they have a hard time hitting those. Those ships are, I don't want to say they're maneuverable, but they're small, and they can usually avoid those torpedo attacks. Uh, Oscar's Lily's coming in. They hit Madan, or yeah, right over here on Sumatra. So again, they're kind of peppering Sumatra with some bombing. Airbase hits one. Runway hits one. Okay. We don't have anything at Madon. We have like a base force there, so whatever. A lot of sightings. That's what we're going around the horn for here. All sightings. Sometimes I fast forward through these, but I kind of wanted to see what's happening here. Uh, Temela coming under bombing attack. 18 Oscars, 7 Lilies in on the attack. No Japanese losses. I think think we have a little AA there, but it didn't do anything. Airbase supply hits one, runway hits two. Okay, I mean, that's not a big deal. We don't have any aircraft there. Japanese aircraft sighting over Singapore, but no actual bombs dropping. So they hit the runway once. That's not going to be enough to have us pull out. Not yet. Level bombers maybe heading towards Rangoon? No, not yet. Uh, okay, we spotted something near Portland Roads. Wow, we're getting a lot of intelligence this time. Uh, maybe not me specifically, but if you know what I mean. Uh, 20 zeros, they're in on Batangis again. 20 zeros, 18 Bettys, 1 Betty damaged. Port hits 1. Port fuel hits four. Again, we're not using those facilities. So it's kind of like they're bombing their own facilities because eventually they're going to be there. So, you know, they should probably avoid that. They're not that far away from taking the Philippines or just bomb units. Um, afternoon and air, air attack on Ken Sen or Kan Sien. Uh, runway hits two. Okay. In on Batangis again. If we have anything left, I don't think we do. It will probably get destroyed. Okay, nothing happened there. Ternate. Now, I don't believe they've hit Ternate before. So now this is coming off of ships. Um, that could be a light carrier force. It could be something a little more major than that. Seven zeros, 19 Kates coming in hot. Airbase air hits one, runway hits four at Ternate. Now, we do have recon craft there. We'll see. Uh, six lilies in on a task force near Baton. Oh, this was that uh, minesweeper that I was just telling you it's very hard for them to hit. Of course, jinxing the AM Baton that is now on fire. Uh, you, you know, you can always bet on that. Uh, the minute I mention something like that, it's going to happen the very same turn. Uh, in on Batangis again, 25 Sallies, 13 Nates. Uh, we had two, yeah, so we did have a few more on the ground here. Two more Warhawks are damaged. We're taking a beating this turn, actually. Uh, 11 Nates, 20 Lilies in on the 100th Chinese Corps. Nothing happened there. Uh, Madan hit, being hit again here. Okay, they're hitting the airbase and runway. Well, they're hitting their own stuff eventually. 62nd Chinese Corps at Wen Chao, or I'm sorry, Wu Chao, uh, being hit by Tojos and Sonyas. Nothing really happened there. Oh, here we go. All right, in on Rangoon, and we did get some Flying Tigers up. Let's hope they hold their own a little. Man, they just got ripped up last time. Um, we had one destroyed. All right, so the Tigers did their job here. 13 Oscars, 13 Lilies, so completely unescorted. Uh, they come in to Rangoon. We got up eight of the Flying Tigers, two Blenheims, and two Buffaloes. Destroyed one Oscar, two Lilies destroyed, four damaged, and a Lily destroyed by Flak. Hey, okay, I'll take that every time. Uh, AK Nerpura, okay, so it was a cargo ship, got hit. Well, I'd much rather it be that than the transport ship. So the Nerpura got hit. It's got heavy damage, but it's sitting in the port, 
So hopefully they can save it. Uh, another air hit on Batangas. Well, they're going to make sure we don't get anything out of Batangas. Now, we did have like 10 or 12 aircraft on the ground, so maybe not the worst idea ever. 100th Chinese Corps, uh, 16 lilies in, 1 damaged. All right. The Japanese run their bombing, it seems like, at 13,000 feet a lot. Uh, which has got me curious if maybe we should start running some of our bombing at 13,000 feet. Uh, oh, Rabal being hit, 15 Bettys, no Japanese losses, but we had no. Now, they came in at 9,000 feet there, so, okay. I very much doubt a torpedo bomber was spotted over central China, but we now have a report of a, to of a torpedo bomber up there. Uh, Tenasserim. Okay, these are the guys coming out of Tavoy trying to scramble their way up Burma and get out alive. Oscars and Sonia's hitting them. I don't see any damage, though. Oh, ho, ho, nice. Okay, so we've... <laughs> Look at these uh, Chinese aircraft. They're really holding their own. Now, these are just bombers. So they're Japanese bombers that are trying to hit the 8th Chinese Corps. Okay? 15 of them. Uh, these I-15s, literally the worst plane in the game, probably, are, are hitting some things, though. One destroyed, two damaged. That helps. Uh, and there was nothing, nothing else to do there. Well, I'm glad I brought these Chinese fighters down here because they're actually not doing too bad of work. P. Warner says, run some cap at 14,000 feet. Smart man. Smart man. Yep. I think we're going to have to start changing uh, at least like the flying tigers and stuff. We're going to have to change their cap levels because it seems like the game has adjusted a bit. Uh, and we're they're really not performing great. Now, they did last turn, and they certainly were early in the game. They were like, their, cool, their kill ratio was like 52 or 53 to 1, and another group was like 35 to 2 or something like that. But they've been getting hit and hurt the last couple of turns, so we may bump them up a little bit. Uh, sea attack near Bali Papan. We had an AKL out here. Torpedo hits one, heavy fires, heavy damage. Now, that's a Japanese sub out there. We've got the DD Paul Jones um, that should have some anti-sub capability. Now, I think the Paul Jones had some damage to it, though. So this may have... Well, I think we just stuck it with this, but it had some damage. Anyway, it's going down. It's a little AKL, you know. Yep, it's down. So that is now sunk. Overall, the Japanese had a pretty good turn there, I think. Uh, they got the much better of us in the air. They, they took out all of those air units at Batangas, which we were trying to get out eventually. Now, those are not advanced aircraft by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but they're still worth having. And uh, so they took those out. Our cap over Rangoon performed pretty well, so that's a positive. We had a several things sink this time we're gonna have to go check that out and now we've got our units marching oh look at this we marched right into here i don't think they have any units here uh excellent wow if we take that uh with no shots fired that's huge now we're just moving some folks around we'll have to come look here at australia and see our guys that are making that march all the all the way across the Australian outback uh, down to Darwin. All right, I'm going to speed this up a little bit uh, for those moves. Okay, now we've got ground combat. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. I can't wait to see what happens here. So this is in at Xinjiang. Now we brought these allied Chinese units south here along this road because we have the Japanese surrounded, sort of. Uh, as you can see, now it looks like they can get out here because our unit is displayed here, but they came from here. I mean, they should be to the east of them, but that's not how the game displays, right? So they're here. These units are coming here to join them. They haven't gotten there yet. Hurry up, hurry up. Uh, but we are, or the Japanese did a bombardment attack against our units now in the hex. Now we can get an idea here 
They've got 8,000 troops here. 92 guns. Okay. Their assault value was 344. We have 41,000 troops in that hex now. 280 guns. Our assault value is 1293 on the defense. Now, when we go on the offense, this would probably be about even, which is crazy when you figure that we've got them outnumbered five to one, but probably pretty accurate uh, for, you know, the the quality, and I'm not talking about whether they were brave or not. I'm saying, you know, take in the equipment and the fact half of these guys were barefoot and didn't have guns and were throwing rocks. It wasn't quite that bad, but a lot of these Chinese units had nothing. You know, they were fighting with sticks and stones and, and knives and stuff uh, and very low quality rifles. So anyway, the fact of the matter is five to one here. Um, but we'll probably be pretty even when we attack them until this other unit gets down here. But I think we can take Sin Yang and we're taking Heng Kao completely uh, without resistance. I love it. 17 casualties reported from their bombardment attack after that long spiel. Um, Japanese bombardment attack right out, uh, right outside of Changsha. Now we finally got these, all of the cores under 58th Chinese army put together. Uh, so we're going to combine them next time, but we've got 4320. Gosh, I thought we had more than that, but they're defending. Uh, so we've got them out or we're defending. We've got that amount numbered like three and a half to one, uh, 165 to 29. Uh, we've got them there. So this is not a very strong Japanese force and they moved out of here to come down here. I don't know what's going on here in the central part of China, other than we're looking really good compared to some other games I've had before deliberate attack near Kusai. And that's right up here. Well, I mean, it's up in the hills. Uh, they've got us outnumbered. They've got 15,000 troops out here. It's 457 to 296. Once we adjust it all the way down, 219 to 202, they did nothing to us really there. Uh, they had 441 casualties. We had 653. We didn't retreat. We didn't run out of there. Heck no, we didn't. We stand strong. Uh, another attack. Okay, again, 130 to 43. This is just a bombardment. So they tried once with a deliberate attack, said, ah, nothing can happen there. Then they bombarded us. A Monon? Okay, sure. Uh, for, okay, so they have 13,000 troops. That's good to know. That's what's coming from the south up the island. 13,000 troops, at least those units right there. Now we're expanding fortifications. We'll just fast forward through that. And that should take us to December 26th or close to it. I don't know why all this text got jumbled down here. I hate when the game does that. End of day. See what happened. Um, we ran 3,000 sorties, the Japanese 2216. You know, we're outpacing them quite a bit for the war. Air to air losses, we actually more than held our own, seven to two in our favor. Uh, destroyed on the field, we had two more sitting at 25 now. We destroyed one Japanese um, aircraft by flak. Operational losses, we had four this time. Okay. I mean, those are kind of even. They're kind of what you would expect them to be. We're up to 605 political points now. The Japanese score, they still didn't get us off of our 11,000 to 3,000 or 3,500, let's call it, advantage. They haven't knocked that down much. Now, let's go see the ships that actually sunk this turn. Oh, interesting. Okay. So that AK, the Kenyu Maru, that we sank, that Japanese ship, was a 10-point cargo ship. Uh, and we sank it with a Mark 14 torpedo. Uh, we had the Argus and this, yeah, these little AKLs, 1.1 1 .1 point, you're going to lose them. You know, it just happens. The Mangana, 
unescorted up by Milne Bay. I wasn't expecting sub activity up there, really. I, I, you know, at this point in the game, I should be expecting a little bit, but we ran right into the Japanese sub off Milne Bay. It took down a transport, and I guess we're going to have to go look and see what it says about the ground units. Or the ground unit, I should say. Uh, one Australian Corps. Here it is. The 44th Australian Battalion. Pretty sure that's what we lost on that transport. Ugh. Wow, that's a killer. I, just, wrong term to use, my friend. Literally and figuratively, I should say. Uh, okay, I think we've got those Banshees into Brisbane. Do we have them this time? I don't know. Let's go look really quickly. You know how excited I am to get new air squadrons. And I think we got them in this time. I think, I think, I think. There we go. Come on, game. You're there. You're there. You're okay. Almost done. There we go. There they are. Look at these sweet pieces of equipment. The Banshee is in. 16, they're quote-unquote damaged. Uh, it'll take them a few turns to get put together. Get them out of the boxes and put them together, gents. We got some dive bombing to do. Oh, uh, gosh, look at that. How nice. How nice. Let's look at the aircraft data on these bad boys. Uh, A24 Banshee. All right. Cruise speeds 173, maximum speed 250. They're not they're not the quickest afoot. Uh, maximum range 25, so you can really skip these about. Extended radius is an eight. That's really nice. Uh, really nice. 26,000 max. Okay. Um, durability 31, pretty good. Maximum load 2250. Now, it says available from 242 to 242. Now, I, it's available. We're not in 42 yet. So, it's, uh, this is, I guess maybe this is available. No, I don't know what that, I don't know why that would be wrong like that. Uh, the 27th BG, okay. It's got Browning guns. The one center deck is uh, pretty pretty strong. You know, that's stronger than the other one. It carries one 1,000-pound 1, bomb. If we did a reduced load, it would go down to a 500-pound bomb. And it's got, it's a one-engine craft. Okay, well, that explains the slow speed. Uh, but yeah, these are dive bombers, and we now finally have some air power in Australia. It's been a long time coming. Uh, but with that said... <laughs> That's, it was not a midget sub, but it was a little sub activity. Good one, P. Warner. You're always good for, for what, a dad joke, my friend. Uh, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Uh, I love this game. December 26th, or December 25th is what we resolved. Wasn't the best turn that we've ever had, uh, but we still keep climbing in points. They can't stop us. Uh, the Japanese need to be doing more. They're not being aggressive enough because... You know, maybe it's my brilliance or maybe they're just not being aggressive enough. I don't know. Uh, we're, we're in good shape, though. Uh, if you want to see a, a, an aggressive AI, tune into those War Plan Pacific videos that I'm going to be putting up. Now, that AI gets moving <laughs> and they're already in Surubaya by December 20th. So anyway, thank you guys so much. This has been Strategy Gaming Dojo. I'll be up with some uh, War in the East 2 very shortly. See you later. Have a good one.